Good morning. Welcome to this second day, second and last day of the 2016 annual Overcoming Racism Conference. We are your FREC MCs. I am Tim. And I'm Antonia Apollinario Wilcoxon. Along with our welcome and grounding ceremonies, we encourage that if at any time, is this correct? Uh, during this conference, you experience or hear things that cause you discomfort. Please do not let yourself or your feelings be invisible in this community. Please take care to reach out to share, listen, and connect with others here, even in learning that causes discomfort. Could everyone please now greet those before behind and beside you with your nod, fist bump, your own expression of agreement to be attentive and present to one another in this conference. Thank you. Are we doing the fist bump again? And then you do it there. So the reason yours is different is because I'm looking, Sarah had copied all this to page, you know, and you're going back to page one. It's the same thing. Yeah, because I don't see. Yeah, that's fine. So it's, it's the same thing. Right. Thank you. With gratitude to the Dakota people on whose homeland we stand, we begin the 2000 Overcoming Racism Conference with the drum, with the Standing Bull Singers. For the Dakota people, the beat of the drum is a healer, a transformer, transmitter of spiritual messages. The drum unites all of us here into one heart, one being. The repetitions within the song signify attention to the sacred directions, east, west, north, south. For some of us, the drum is a relative, a grandfather to whom we listen with respect. In reverence on hearing the drum, the heart of Mother Earth, you are encouraged, all who are able, to stand, and if you have a hat, please remove it. It is now my honor to introduce the drum group, the Standing Bull Singers. <clears throat> to let our voice carry. Now he wants to work. <laughs> I want to thank, uh, want to thank you for allowing us to, to be part of your lives uh, this morning. We were thinking uh, earlier this morning how the human body is made up of energy. Yesterday, uh, I felt a little bit of what we deal with on a daily basis. Came across somebody who sometimes you don't have to say anything. Sometimes you don't have to talk out loud for you to understand and feel that somebody is in a bad mood. <laughs> it is their energy they give off. I felt that yesterday. Today, I want to make it known out loud that our energy is very, very important. It's very important to how we greet each other and we have to keep that, uh, that positive energy. Yesterday I spoke about how 
us as human beings are connected to the earth. And when we are sick, the earth is sick. And today we can see that with each other. Human beings are very disrespectful. We're very judgmental. Uh, that's maybe where the old saying, misery loves company, because uh, that's just how we are. We are conditioned to be that way. So today, we want to call on all of our ancestors, not just ours. We all have a background, whether we are Dutch or German. We all have backgrounds, spiritual backgrounds. We all have spirit helpers. And so today, I want to thank you for letting us be a part of calling all of our ancestors to come. I used to work uh, for a um, halfway house chemical dependency for a lot of years. And I used to tell my clients, you know, when you get jittery, when you get moving and you, you want to get up and just get out, and during a lot of uh, meetings you hear a lot of, and I always tell my client that's because of that sickness that is still inside of you that doesn't want to receive the help. They want you to get up and walk out so that you can continue to be sick. Patience is something that we need to strive to grasp a hold of. So today I ask for that, just a little patience. If you don't like the way I sing, plug your ears. <laughs> But we're going to try our best. So I'm going to sing one song. My wife <clears throat> has uh, put on a healing outfit. In our way of life, this, this dress came to us in a sacred way. And this, the short version of the story goes that there was a man whose daughter was sick. He was dying of an illness. And when he went up on the hill to fast, he, he fasted, no food, no water. He sacrificed his robe of flesh to the earth maker and said, take me in, in exchange for my daughter's life. And in the process of fasting, his body gave out and he fell. And in, during that transcendental period of his fasting, the spirit showed him this dress. He was instructed to make this dress and that this dress would be healing. And in four days' time, the story tells us that from sickness to that fourth day, that young, that young woman, she was dancing. She was healed. And in, in, uh, through our history, our prophecies, our teachings, today, my wife wears this dress because she wants to extend that healing to each and every one of you. Those of you that are going to come close to this dress are going to receive a blessing. Miracles in small ways. So today we're going to attempt that together. <clears throat> Pray hard for each other and our brothers and sisters at Standing Rock. Hey, 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 hey,
I want to thank everybody for, for kind of giving a, a round of applause for we do that, you know, encourage each other. Well, we're going to sing a song, uh, kind of the same thing we did yesterday and um, kind of honor of, of the fight that's going on out, out, out in the Cannonball area. This is the American Indian Movement song. Now we're going to uh, we're going to showcase uh, my wife. We're going to do a straight song, and uh, this is one of the songs that uh, portrays the healing. And uh, yeah, so those of you that want to pray for someone in your family, maybe you lost somebody, maybe somebody's not doing good, somebody's ill, sick, you can think about them. Hey! 
Thank you very much. Thank you to the drumming and standing ball singers and dancer. Thank you very much. I am happy to introduce to you this morning Dr. Cecil Whitehead, an elder in the Lakota community who will offer a blessing with sage. For those of you who are sensitive to the uh, scent of burnt sage, you're welcome to leave the auditorium and wait in the overflow area. Thank you. Um, and because we're pressed on time a little bit this morning, um, those who uh, received the bus who were here yesterday, uh, uh, we'd invite you to uh, count that as your blessing for today. And those who weren't here yesterday, we'd, we'd invite you, encourage you to uh, come down. Thank you. If, uh, if you haven't received the smudging uh, yesterday, maybe you can make a line on this side, uh, which is to your right, that aisle there, and then come back and get the smudging and then go get the cleansing and then move over this way. Um, we're calling that uh, the fast track. The smudging that you received yesterday was, of course, uh, through the conference. So, well, my nephew is, is doing the smudging and the cleansing. A little word about the sage and the, and the medicine. It is, again, as Virgil said this morning, it is to get rid of the negative energy and uh, also strengthen your positive energy. Our Lakota elders tell us that we have both the negative and the positive in our bodies. And then it's up to us to which one we feed. So this is a, a, a symbolic act of that cleansing so that we can be in a positive frame of mind for the days, uh, for today's events and activities where we will Again, as I pray, that we will pray for wisdom and for healing. Uh, as he mentioned, uh, my nephew mentioned uh, that we may have some grief that we need to deal with. We may have some anger or we may have some hurts that we need to deal with. And this is the place to leave it. Okay. So I will go ahead. And of course, you're more than welcome to pray in your own way. But when, I, when we pray in this way, we always pray for health and help for our, ourselves and our loved ones. So that's what we're going to pray for here today. We're going to pray for the conference, for the people that organized this and brought us together, for the healing that's going to take place here. And I really appreciate their uh, offer for me to come. And it's with good uh, good feelings and a good heart and with that uh, great sense of humility I feel very honored to come and be able to say a, a prayer for all of you I will pray with this tobacco and after we get done I will take the tobacco out and put it by a tree so that the creator can come and get the prayers in that tobacco and start to do the work of the healing Oya tukashila khati etopa wakata ke kuta ke unchi mangha ke ya le ampetu ke ya oya unchi cha hoye walo cha ya unchi malana hoye na hoya le hoye wale ona ya we och pe atakya oya he cha khola he khaluza nija pahata noji ho e mahi no ya o mekin ta ke cha ya le ampetu ke Traina ke ahituina, kamakhata ke ahituina onke apo yale, ake unshit ahoi ni apelon. Oya, we och pata ke shuak hoyateki, wakin hoyateki. Oya hechata yop chayale. Oya lehapetuki, unshit ale hoi apile, 
Hoile oyate ale kawita ahi hona taku ana hona taku wa abrezeno oya zani ukta chaya he chil hoye walo oya we chose ni wo ke we chai chila lo le hiblena hona ya tiwa he oga inja we chose ni wo ke hoye walo hona wasi atake at khatkhan ko ya te ke chata ni ukta ya kaman khata ke ahi ton onke ko Oya le ohini na oya omeni chon le oftun ki ab le chunga wo ab le ze na wo ke chun la pelo chaya he chil oya le ta ta ku ke i oftiena ogna le unshu ki chila na on ki chak te chaya le he chil ho ye walo oya he na i ha ki ni tiwa he oga we chosani wo ke chay chati chilam ona ya we ohi apata. Oya hecha he kako oya teki. Ona apo i chokpi wa hecha tan yo chaya he na oya kyakta. Oya le ape tuki ya oya onshu ki chilana on ki chana. Oya na pe on ki chizana. Oya ugna takunu. Oya takun le unzani pshni heche ya le lunka ishtana he na. Oya unzani zani akil unglabu chipe lo chaya. Unshu ki lamna on ki apo. Oya hechil hoi walo. Oya ito ka gata kya. Oya hechata ha unki tritake eke. Itko ka bi abhe na hechata upelo chaya he na. Oya tkhayna ke ahitu ana onke apo le apetu ke a ke hoi apelo. Ui chosani uo ke chun la apelo unki tritake eke chaya he le onke apo gana le takun. Ea olel. Oya unzani ukta chonga le unhibna chete cha. Oya ogna ya le yuha kini le lhibla ni yuha kini. Oa chint khanka, oa chant ogna ke. Wo itika, wo ksape. Ya hena wichay ti lalo. Ona ya owa kata kya tukashi la kamak khata kya hitu ina le unrushu ki lapo. Oya le ampetu ki ya ke. Oya wicho zani wo ke chun lape lo. Oya oya te le ka wita hi na jile na cha ea un shila na un kea po. Oya oe ha ke ta kuta kea un chima kha ki. Oya e hel, oya ma petu a jile uwe lo. Oya ma kha un chima kha ki shine un kea okta e shita. Ea i chua, i chua ea le ma kha i cho chani le. Ma kha si to minea na ujib le. Oya ui cho zani wo ke i chun la pe lo. Wa oke, mushu ki chilamna, oke chakta. Ea he che wa la elo cha. Ea na ku le li glohi ble na, ea ui choma ni kakam na. Ha wa ble ze chai, glab chai a he na. Ea he na i wong la kakta lo le hampe tuki. Cha ea he na ogna takun le, i washte okta cha le, o ea no oi chak ya po. Na ea ogna takun, ea le la ishtam chim hata. Ea ni shogna, O ya unki tita ke hon yab na che 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 ah na he na ui chonki kse ape lo. E a le hi ane ue kta ha he na ui trokab yab he na ui chonki kse ape cha. E a inja he na tkhay na ke ahitom na onki ape o le leo petu ke un si cha ho ye ape lo. Ta ya un chi ma kha un shukil am na onki ape o. E a le ik se i cha sa cha ya le na u hi na zi cha o ye ke ake lo. O ya. Iha kini lehe chelo yamna le i pia. Oya, un lo an pe lo na ku le cha. Ea he na, ea, ta ku shkan shkan he ne cha. Ea he na, le o lo an le ne on shna he na hui chong shup cha. Ea he na, ea he washte lo cha. Ea he lo anya ki abe wo pila lo. Oya he chel hoye wa lo me ta ki asin.
I want to thank you again and welcome everybody to today's event. We were going to uh, this, we're, you know, fast track the sage a little bit. So when they mentioned that, I said, let's just think about the smudging and let's go on. But uh, they talked me out of that. So get to smudge and cleanse ourselves. Let's have a good day. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Cecil Whitehead, for the sage, sage blessing to cleanse the energies of our bodies, minds, and spirits in this space as we open today's conference. Disruption has been going on for some time, fueling the insatiable appetite of empire and capitalism which is why we have Standing Rock happening today. One of our Lakota panelists participants said, when I think about disruption, I think about the disruption brought by the settler's way of life. In many ways, our charge, our calling, is to disrupt the disruptors. For some of us, we found our own consciousness disrupted by Ricardo, who challenged us to reframe our agenda, reframe our expectations of what we are about in this anti-racism work. Ricardo said it is not enough to struggle against race, racism or fight racism. Rather, it must be our goal to eradicate racism. It is our duty, said Ricardo, for the sake of humankind, for the sake of the planet, to win this fight, and that must be our orientation. I love the image Ricardo gave us. Struggling against racism is like fighting for better conditions on the Titanic. When what we need to do, what we must do, is ask critical questions about ownership and direction. For Ricardo, and this just came up this morning. Despair is never an option. It is an ally of empire, racism, and oppression. Guante, our spoken artist poet, captured this tension in a wonderfully poignant poem about a person puzzling about what he should do when he comes across a person sinking in quicksand. As it turns out, asking the question, is quicksand real, is the wrong question to ask. <laughs> In Ricardo's keynote reflections and reflections of the panel and other presenters, there was a reoccurring invitation for disruption of racism to be an ongoing reality in our own lives. As one panelist noted, we need to disrupt our own biases, whether they be internalized racism or racism of which we are simply happily unaware. I would encourage you to visit the exhibit, We Are All Criminals, which is an exhibit intended to invite an awareness about how racism shields some and imprisons others. There were, of course, lots of great workshops, and since I have not figured out how to be in more than one place at a time, my experience is limited, but I did attend an excellent workshop led by Beverly Bushyhead. Beverly concluded by sharing that she called her, that she, she had created her own disruptor's pledge and invited us to consider making a disruptor's pledge of our own, to which we might be accountable. Now, I invite you this morning and during the day to consider making your own disruptor's pledge. I can't help you begin that pledge, nor, I, nor do I wish you to, to tell you what should be in the middle. But last night, during the showing of the documentary Black Panther's vanguard of the revolution, we heard words from Black Panther Fred Hampton, 
words which would be a fitting conclusion for any disruptor's pledge. I am a revolutionary. I am a revolutionary. Yeah. Thank you. I, I think I think we are done. Do we have anything else, Antonia? Just an invitation that you consider uh, joining track. We plan this conference during the year, and here is some information, and you have that in your program as well. The meetings are going to be at Wilder from 9 until 11, the second Thursday of each month. And you don't want to miss it. It's quite an experience. So thank you all. Thank you.